Welcome to Green Spaces, everyone. I'm Michael Walton. I'm the executive director here at Green Spaces. Uh, we are a nonprofit focused on advancing the sustainability of living, working, and building in Chattanooga and the surrounding region. We do that through Empower Chattanooga, our education and training program in low income neighborhoods, Greenlight Chattanooga, which is Chattanooga's green business certification, uh, our next gen homes, which are healthy, affordable homes that produce as much energy as they consume, and our membership program. We provide resources that help advance our shared mission of improving quality of life and quality of the environment in Chattanooga. And to that end, we are here today to recognize EPB, one of our members and close partners, for taking yet another step for our community toward that sustainable future. We're honored to have Jamie Statter, Vice President of Strategic Relations at the U.S. Green Building Council, uh, who came from Washington, D.C. to make this important community announcement. We're also joined by Chattanooga Mayor Andy Burke. Hamilton County uh, Mayor Jim Coppinger was unable to make it, uh, but we have uh, Mike Dunn, who's representing him this morning. Uh, and finally, we have David Wade, the Chief Operating Officer at EPB, uh, who is going to explain the significance of this morning's announcement and what it means to our community. So let's get started. This is launched more than a decade ago. LEAD has helped transform the places in which we live, work, um, and function as individuals. And GBCI found that our core competency really lies in helping others do their own work through third party certification, verification, and recognition of sustainability in the built environment. We also realized that there was much more to do beyond just the building, and that by focusing only on the building, we were missing huge components of sustainability, and now resiliency becoming even more important. Uh, we look to peer to really think about energy, uh, energy systems and reliability in the long term. So in this time when it's critical to address resiliency, reliability, and sustainability, um, our answer to this question is peer certification, which is the first ever rating system designed to measure and improve power systems. We look at four categories, reliability and resiliency, energy efficiency and environment, operational effectiveness, and customer contribution, which is something that is even more important when you think about a city like Chattanooga. So just like LEED defined what it meant to be a green building, we are expecting that PEER will now define what it means to be a smart grid. So no longer can a city say, we have a smart grid. We now have the ability to verify and measure what that actually means. Uh, and we're excited to, to be here today where Chattanooga is the first major municipality under the leadership of EPB to achieve that distinction. <laughs> And we know that this just builds on larger efforts that you have. Uh, we're currently sitting in the first uh, lead platinum building in the state of Tennessee. Uh, the work that you've all done around fiber optics, uh, river cleanup, and other efforts that have demonstrated your commitment to being a true 21st century city. We're excited to add peer certification on top of that. And as we roll out peer uh, globally, with this being our second certified project and our first municipal project, uh, we know that it's leaders like yourselves that are willing to be the first movers um, and take a chance to figure out what the futures will be and go for it. Um, in that regard, I'd like to mention our first peer industry partner, David Chiesa, who's here representing SNC Electric. Um, we know that all of this work in sustainability is a combination of work from the public, private, and nonprofit sectors working together, and nowhere is that more true than in this project. Uh, this is how market transformation occurs, which is our mission, and I know yours as well. So uh, on behalf of USGBC and GBCI, I'm thrilled to uh, present you with a certificate of peer certification, which is right here. And Mr. Mayor, if you would like to uh, give so us some remarks now is the time. Sure. 
Well, thanks so much. Let me let me start with a few a few thank yous and and say, Jamie, we appreciate so much you coming down from Washington D.C. And there's a little fact that um, I think people should know. Being the first ever municipality that did this, the scale is 240 points. And what I'm really impressed by is that you, the EPB got not 294 points, but 294.3. <laughs> it's that last point three that shows the commitment to excellence, right? Um, no, th this is this is a great moment, and for those of us uh, like me who grew up here, um, I think we're especially proud to say this: um, if it's going to be the first, it's going to be in Chattanooga. And for us to see what we've done over the course of the last six years as a community, um, thanks in large part to the leadership at EPB, let's give them a round of applause. David Wade and everyone else. As a community, as a nation, we understand that energy is today's currency. When businesses come here and they're looking for a place to locate, um, they need energy as a crucial component of what they do, and the cost of it is critical, and then whether it is reliable is important for their future. So take, for example, um, the, uh, the people at South Tree, and when you talk to them, uh, about what's going on, um, and this, they, they're the ones who are doing huge amounts of uploads of video so that your old home movies or, or your audio tapes, videotapes, whatever can be uploaded to the web. It's not just about the amount that they can upload to the web, it's also about reliability. It's about cost. And for them, the reason that Chattanooga is such a great fit, besides our fantastic city, the reason that we are such a great fit is because of the smart grid and EPB's fiber optic system. And that goes, uh, holds true all across our city and particularly with the growing innovation district. Um, talk to people uh, around the city, look at what's going on in the market. People are locating here and you're seeing development in large part because of the movement that was started several years ago. And for us to continue that forward as our country, as our world consumes more energy, we of all people understand the ramifications of that, right? Because if you grew up here and you understood what happens when you develop without any checks at all, we saw polluted rivers, skies that were black as with smoke, all the things that then hollowed out our city and in the long run, made us a less desirable place to live and to have business. And so what EPB is doing is showing us a way to make sure that we have this incredible development, that we have a world that lives with iPads and smart systems all around us, but to do it in a way that says we understand that we also have to be responsible to our world, so in the long run we still have a place that people want to live in. And to me, that's the brilliance of what's going on right here in Chattanooga. So I'll say to, to Michael, thank you so much for your leadership and all that you do. To Jamie, thanks uh, for being here. But um, to EPB and to the community who supports EPB, which is not always uh, something that you find in every community, it's critical that we have community support um, to build this greater system. And to me, again, um, that's why we live in the greatest mid-sized city in America. Now, I do want to apologize on behalf of, of Mayor Coppinger. I know that he uh, really wanted to be here today. Unfortunately, he has a prior commitment. And so with that, I'd like to introduce uh, Mike Dunn. Well, good morning. As Mayor Burke has said, Mayor Coppinger has another appointment. He's meeting with the commissioners right now, even as we speak about an important development for Hamilton County taxpayers, specifically the uh, Hamilton County Sheriff's Department. But he did ask me to say, Michael, thank you for hosting today. Jamie, welcome to Hamilton County. We hope you enjoy yourself here today. Uh, and we are honored by the award. And I know that we're going to talk about that a little bit more. But Mayor gave me a couple of talking points to talk about. And while this is not the Bible according to Coppinger, it is indeed the things that I may need to make sure to address. So if you'll let me put my glasses on, I'll do my job for my boss, which is to talk about the importance of the smart grid. 
And, and as Mayor Burke just mentioned, uh, it is reliable and it's key to have reliable uh, service here. And the smart grid has changed that so much with its speed. You know, I like to say it's flash fast. And for those of you who read comics as a kid, you get the joke. And if you don't, well, he wears red underwear and he runs real fast. All right. Uh, the mayor also wanted me to mention that the energy and operations efficient are, are so good for, uh, for us in terms of how we try and promote growth because of the fact that, you know, we are bringing businesses in here all the time or we're expanding businesses. Uh, we have 65 new developing businesses at the Business Development Center, and it's a pretty safe bet that many of those companies are there because of the vital role that EPB plays in the company's technology. And we could say the same for the 117 companies that have invested or expanded in Hamilton County over the last six years. Reliable, high-quality energy, as the mayor says, is important to the quality of life, and we all know that. Uh, Jamie, you're here today. It's not that bad, but if you've been here two nights ago, man, it was cold. <laughs> and I want to tell you, and John Pless, you'll agree with this because John and I both served at News Channel 9 in a previous life, and there were many a time when we would stand outside in the cold and we'd be reporting on hundreds of homes that were without power because Mother Nature just wasn't happy with us. Well, thanks to the smart grid, we've managed to successfully reduce that. And when I say we, I mean you, obviously, not <laughs> Hamilton County. But EPB does a fantastic job of being able to to just figure out exactly where the break is, where the problem is, and minimize the amount of discomfort that people experience and get the electricity back on in the quickest and fastest flash fast uh, way possible. So we want to thank you for that. Uh, the mayor is a big, big proponent of the smart grid. Uh, and he finally wants to talk about how uh, it's important for education and continuous learning. And, and if I can, a quick story. Uh, Saturday, I was watching uh, CBS Morning, and they have this little segment uh, called On This Day in History. And, and by the way, full disclosure, I'm an EPP customer and I was watching it on my fiber optic system. Uh, <laughs> and anyway, uh, it was January 9th and uh, the graphic came up and it said, on this day in January 9th, 2007, Steve Jobs introduced the iPhone. And I sat there and I said, wow, was it that long ago? Because it seems like, you know, like this has changed my life and I've been using it forever. Well, I think we also say the same thing about the smart grid. It has changed the way we use technology. It has been incredible in terms of providing electrical power to us. Its broadband service is just great. Again, I'm a customer. We love it. Uh, and finally, the mayor asked me to ask a question to all the parents out there. So, and we want you to be honest. So how many of you have tried to help your children with their homework and have had to Google something because of the fact that you don't know the answer? Show of hands. Come on, be honest here now and stuff. EPB, we thank you for that. All right. You've made it easier for us to be parents. You've made it easier for us to educate our children. And you've made it easier for them to embrace the technologies that you're working to uh, continue all the time. It was the vision of the smart grid that brought us to what we are here today to celebrate. And that is the Peer Award. And we're going to let Mr. Way talk about that further. Thank you, sir, for this. Thank you, Mark. And let me also uh, thank Jamie and the entire team at U.S. Green Breading Council for their leadership in really setting a bar that uh, companies can aspire to. First with uh, sustainable buildings through the LEED program and now with electric power grid performance and the peer certification. So thank you, Jamie, and your team for that. Now, at EPB, we are uh, we're certainly uh, excited about this. We are uh, we are certainly uh, proud that the USGBC recognized the power of Chattanooga's smart grid. You know, it's a, uh, it's a system that couldn't exist today without the hard work and the visionary thinking of the many co-workers I have back at EPB. So uh, I want to thank them as well for the hard work that they put into this. It's a, uh, when you look at the core, the fundamental aspects of our smart grid and those core uh, core abilities that are performing so well today, they're really what are, what's core to this designation. It's, uh, it's our fiber optic communications network that is the backbone of the smart grid. It's the ability to communicate literally with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of devices and literally pass trillions of data points back and forth real time that makes the smart grid so powerful. It's the self-healing uh, network. It's the ideal that uh, the self-healing network also leverages the smart, the, the fiber optics, but then it layers on top sensors. You know, it layers on top specialized computers and automated switches that, that pinpoint the location of damage and automatically reroute power around that damage. You know, our smart grid hasn't stopped the first car from hitting a pole. I can tell you that. <laughs> but 
but it certainly has minimized the impact on our community to the, to the point of we're seeing 55 to six, our customers are seeing 55 to 60 percent less outages and less outage time than they did before. So it's exciting to be part of that. And then the ability to have data, to, to our smart meters provide data to our customers in near real time and our system provides tremendous amount of data back to us that allows us to, to operate more effectively and to, to look at stuff like how's our system performing and what type of power quality are we delivering, delivering to individual homes and businesses. You know, again, I, I want to really thank the, my coworkers back at EPB for the tremendous work they've done in creating this, this system. I'd also like to shout out to Jason Reed, who I think is here somewhere. And Jason did the lion's share of work in, in submitting the smart grid to the USGBC for peer certification. So thank you, Jason. You know, it's uh, the resiliency and the reliability we're seeing today. It's really just only, it's only the beginning. You know, this system was really built to be a platform for the future. And I tell you, it's, a, it's an exciting future we have ahead of us today. You know, when you start looking at what's, what's next is with the ability of the communication, the automation, it's layering on distributed assets uh, such as uh, solar storage and other type of distributed assets all around our network. It's taking and giving our customers more tools to, to, so they can better manage their energy consumption. And then it's taking these trillions of data points and learning how to continually leverage those to, to improve every aspect of our operation. So I would say that the future is extremely bright. We're excited about where we are today, but we're more excited about the future. And I think one of the reasons I'm so excited about the future is the, the community that we, we live in. It is certainly a privilege to serve this Chattanooga and Hamilton County and, and uh, it has such leadership as Mayors Burke and Coppinger, and along with other organizations in our community that are not satisfied with status quo that a lot of cities are. It's a, uh, EPB is just one of many organizations that have the ability to get up and get up every day thinking about how do we make things better for our community. And we certainly are proud to be part, one small part of that larger team. So again, thank you, Jamie and the USGBC for this Thank you for being here, and I would ask uh, Michael to come back with any closing comments. We'd also like to just uh, say a quick thanks to the other officials uh, from the city of Chattanooga and the county, if you could stand quickly. Um, thank you, David Wade, uh, and thanks to EPB. Congratulations, really, most of all, for all the hard work with the Smart Grid uh, and everything that you do for our community, that the city does, that the county does. There are so many people in this audience that provide such great leadership uh, around sustainability in the community, and we, we couldn't do any of this without you. Um, Chattanooga continues to make great strides towards sustainability and the peer certification of our smart grid represents a significant milestone along a continuing path toward environmental, economic, and social sustainability that we're all kind of striving for. Uh, so thank you, Mayor Andy, Andy Burke. Thank you, Mike Dunn. And thank you, Jamie Statter. Um, and Thanks to everybody uh, for coming out today. Uh, and if anybody in the media would like to speak to any guests one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you can do so after this. Um, but that's the end of our festivity. And uh, congratulations again to EPB.